All right, what we're going to do now is transfer this into the ring. We will be in a defensive, peekaboo defensive style at the same time executing what we call a game plan to take you from transferring it from the floor into the ring, into fight night. Let's see what it looks like. Both of them have their strategies. And let's see how well they execute it. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Good, nice paint. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Remember when you're seeing these guys box, that they have to f stay in uh, a strategic mindset. Head has to be off the line at all times. Hand has to be up, guarding the grill. Left to right movements, never pull back. Good, nice combination. Good combination, Mike. High, low. Stay calm, stay comfortable. Keep your head off the line. Look left, look right. Peekaboo style. You always take every little detail and you implement it. Move out of the way, left, right. Remember, a bob is a part of this too. Keep it moving. Good. Finish off. You got them right there. Run the numbers. Faint low, go high. Good. Nice combination. Way to listen to what I said do. That's a good thing. When you guys are working with your coaches, listen to what they do. They build a strategy for you to actually execute it. There you go. Good. Get back to the jab. Put your hands back up high. When you're in the peekaboo stance, you can defend against anything. The minute you drop them, you'll get caught. Good stuff. Good. Bend those knees and break out. Step around. Good. And you'll find yourself in a better position. 30 seconds. Let's work. Good. Good, Jill. Get back to the stick. Good. Don't pull straight back. Keep the hands in defense. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Faint low, go high. Nice faint. Give them that throw away, Mike. Try one. There you go. Time. And that's what it looks like when you take such a small, minute detail, and you transfer it, you increase your muscle memory. And what that does is help you implement it into the ring. And that's what you saw. You saw a high, low touch, one, two, three. Mike demonstrated consistency with his combination. That was his tactic in that round to be the one who led to the body, brought the hand, the, the, the combinations up top. And you saw Tyler start to drop his feints and land them more towards the end. He did it less, but his objective was to feel that rhythm. And he could have taken it into the next round and switched the combination up. And that's the beautiful thing about the peekaboo style. That's it, and that's all we got for right now. We're about to finish our training, but to learn more about the peekaboo style and how to transfer your fighting into the ring, continue to follow us at Master Boxing across the board. Click the link above and come and join us into our group. We out of here, peace. Good stuff. <laughs>